What is the story, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to GA Fan TV. My name is Aaron. It is Sunday, 6th of November. Kilmuckle Crokes versus Nace in the All Ireland Senior Club Football Championship. Well, the Leinster Club Football Championship, as a matter of fact. And uh, going to be going to the game, going to be seeing can Kilmuckle Crokes live up to the hype? Can they get their first win on the board in the Leinster Club Football Championship? Can Nace turn them over? Obviously, these two teams played each other last year in the opening round of the Leinster Club Football Championship and or not in the opening round sorry in the final and like Nace really gave them a good test and, and, and probably could have beat them on another day obviously it went to extra time Derek Kirwan went off injured that day Paul Manny went off injured for Kilmuckle Croaks as well so look it's going to be a very very entertaining game it's going to be interesting to see what the atmosphere is like in Parnell Park so yeah bit of a match day vlog come along and join me hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy this content in terms of a prediction for the game I'm going to say, look, I think it will be low scoring enough. I think with a lot of these games, you know, I think a lot of these games are, are low scoring in the, you know, in the provincial club championships because that's kind of just how they are with weather conditions and obviously only 60 minutes, you know, that, 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 that these two teams play. So, yeah, look, I think it'll be low scoring. I think it'll be tight. I've obviously backed Hilmuckle Croaks to win the All-Ireland and different videos and everything else. So it's no surprise that I'm backing them to win. I'm going to say Hilmuckle Croaks 14 points. Nace won nine. I think two point victory. Look, Kilmuckle Croaks, they, they haven't been free flowing in terms of goals from, from what I can remember. Didn't get a goal against Nafina. Didn't concede a goal either, to be fair. Nace have been very high scoring as well, though, to be fair to them. So it's going to be interesting, but um, yeah, I'm going to go with Kilmuckle Croaks to get the victory. I was just about to say we're about to get lucky finally with the weather, but um, yeah, it looks like I spoke too soon on that one. Lashing again. Happy days. In terms of man of the match, I mean probably go I mean Shane Walsh is certainly the obvious one obviously um, he's been outstanding I mean you look at Craig Diaz in around the middle some of the work maybe that he could do um, you know what kind of game is Derek here one gonna have as well it's gonna be interesting to see the matchups of course as well like um, you're obviously looking at you know who's gonna pick up Shane Walsh could you have a, an Owen Doyle potentially on him and um, then on the flip side of that, who's going to pick up Derek here one? Maybe Rory O'Carroll. It's going to be very, very fascinating. Um, matchup's going to be interesting. In terms of man to match, I mean, Shane Walsh would be the obvious one. Maybe to mix it up and be a little bit different, I'll go with Tom Fox. But um, yeah, here we go. Just getting to the stadium now. So, well, this is just ideal, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. What else would you be doing on a Sunday afternoon? Oh, Made a mistake or something, but Kilmuckle Crokes have a goal, and that's a huge blow here for Nace. Yeah. 
Shane Walsh here with the chance. chance. Oh, what a lovely goal. So it's half time, Kimmelco Crokes 2 7, Nace 7 points. Been very comfortable for Kimmelco Crokes so far in the first half. Nace with 4 unanswered points at one stage in the first half. Um, maybe looked like they were going to turn it around slightly, but goals from Craig Diaz, Dara Mullen. It's a lovely bit of play, a chance for Hugh Kenny who puts it in the back of the net and that's a goal for Kilmuckle Crokes, it's a third goal, surely game over. So there we have it, Kilmuckle Crokes 3-14, Nace 14 points, Kilmuckle Crokes in the end with the 9 point victory and um, yeah look I have to be honest I certainly didn't expect that game to be as one sided as it was, you know Nace started pretty well, they had a moment where they hit 4 points without reply I think in the first half but like once the goals went flying in, um, you know Kilmuckle Crokes or Nace just didn't have an answer. Um, I, I'll definitely be curious to see that first goal back again because certainly from looking at it at the game I've no idea what happened it was like one of the defenders put the ball down and Dara Mullen just picked it up and scored I really don't know I, like, I originally thought it was going to be disallowed or something like that but it was kind of crazy you obviously have Craig Diaz with a wonderful goal in there as well uh, Hugh Kenny I think got the third goal so um, it was just a really really good performance from, from Kim Michael Crokes in the end and as for Nace you know, they're a young enough team. A couple of older lads in there, but a few young players, Derek Kirwan, Alex Byrne, a few other lads. So look I'm sure they'll they'll regroup and come back. But um yeah, what a result for Kim with Crokes, what a brilliant, brilliant performance. You know, we said at the start of the video, it's gonna they're gonna take some stopping this year and, and certainly that's gonna continue. So um so yeah, cheers anyone who tuned in. If you could hit the like button and subscribe, be much appreciated. We'll be doing more match day vlogs in the next couple of weeks. We will go to non Kilmuckle Crokes games as well. I think just the fact that, you know, like Parnell Park's only about 20 minutes away from the gaff, so it's fairly handy. Um, 
but obviously Kilmuckle Croaks versus Port Arlington in Crow Park I mean that's going to be an interesting one double header as well might maybe go to that um, so yeah looking forward to it looking forward to it but yeah cheers anyone who tuned in smash the like button subscribe see you all later